Hello, I'm Kerry Dock from navsports.com.au. Today, I've got Cameron Curtis from Bowls Australia with me. He's the national coach and he's going to talk about lawn bowls. Cameron, first thing, what are the benefits of participating in lawn bowls? Well, Kerry, um, I mean, the benefits are endless, really. I mean, uh, I mean, for one, I mean, um, as far as just general health and well-being, I mean, uh, you know, they talk about, the government, all that, about your basic 30 minutes of exercise a day. Um, you know, bowls is a great way uh, to sort of uh, get that 30 minutes. Um, apart from that, it's, it's, a, it's one of the best social sports in the whole world. I mean, you're, in a, you're on a green uh, with... with a lot of people side by side, you go into the club, you start the game at the same time, you finish the game at the same time, so it's great from that aspect. It's a fantastic way just to get involved in your local community and uh, meet people and that sort of thing. So uh, some great benefits, you know, you can play at a super casual level like barefoot bowls just with your mates and uh, that sort of thing, uh, all, all the way up to Commonwealth Games level, you want to represent your country and things like that. So. I've always, you know, been growing up in Australia, there's always been lawn bowls close by and probably the, the great attraction is there's always a, a bar close by, isn't there? Well, ex- exactly. And, I mean, that's uh, part of the culture of the sport that's uh, really stood the, the, the social side of the sport in good, in, in good stead. But uh, I know over the last uh, few years since I've been involved with Bowls Australia, we've worked very hard to create an elite culture for the best players in the, in the country and the world and uh, where fitness is a huge part of it, nutrition, the whole thing, and alcohol is really the furthest thing from their mind so well, you uh, have a beer at the end of every game yeah once the job's done and we've got the gold medals on that's when we have the, the couple of the beers is it winner's um, shout or home home team shout uh as long as whoever's got the most money i think <laughs> <laughs> okay and and I, I guess over the years we've probably always thought of lawn bowls as something that you play when you sort of retire but i think you, you've got um all ages playing now don't you Exactly. I mean, we often talk about it's a sport that you can play from either 9 to 99 and you can either be younger than that or older than that. It's, that's the, the beauty about bowls. I mean, uh, we, uh, the legend of our sport, a UK uh, gentleman, David Bryant, who's really the, what we call the Don Bradman of lawn bowls, he always referred to, to bowls being a young person's game that old people can play. And, and that was uh, 20 years ago he said that and how true he was. I mean, really, the younger people now that are starting their early teens, they're the ones that are dominating at international and national level. But still, for the, the older people who want to do a bit of a pastime and do well at club level, if they want to be slightly competitive, uh, there's still lots of competitions for those people as well. Can, can you get better as you get older? Like, um, even though you might be good when you're young, um, I, I would hope that as you get older you, you, you can keep improving. Oh, definitely. I mean, I mean, I myself, I started when I was uh, 13. Uh, I, I was lucky enough to play state level at you know in my 20s and, and play for my Australia in my 20s as well. But now at uh, late 30s, I feel that I'm sometimes playing better than I was then. And I think as you get older, it's like the pro golfers on the, the you know the golfing circuit. You get wiser, you get more experience, you get calmer in a crisis sometimes, and that sort of thing. So uh, certainly, we find that not only you know do the young players dominate, but also uh, you know the ones in their 50s, 60s, and older have their day as well. Yep. And what about participation all over Australia now? How many people do we have uh, playing lawn bowls? Well, at the moment we have uh, just under 300,000 uh, bowls in Australia and uh, that's an increase of a couple of thousand even on last year. So we're very uh, very happy with the way participation rates are going. Uh, bowls Australia has uh, its own Get On The Green uh, program. It's a popular program to get the average person um, that's never had much to do with bowls to, to try it out and uh, the rates of that the participation rates the last 12 months have been well over 15,000 so a lot of new people coming into our sport and uh, we're really thrilled you know, with the way it's going And, and Cameron what sort of um, cost is there involved you know, when you start up I think, I think it's fairly you know, inexpensive though, to join a club and then just sort of get your, uh, your gear to play and, and bowls you know, do you provide that sort of we do. I mean, it's, it's one of the easiest sports to get involved with, and it's one of the cheapest sports, really. I mean, you can go down to your local club. They're, they're, they're always looking for new members. Um, 99 clubs out of 100 will welcome anyone off the street. Uh, they'll even let you have a go. They'll supply the bowls uh, for the first few weeks free of charge. You just need some flat sole shoes. They might charge you $10 uh, a head for a bit of a casual game. If you then want to get get keen you want to get some coaching most clubs if you join that club will provide coaching free of charge Uh, a membership of your typical club 
uh, would vary from somewhere from from fifty dollars to a hundred dollars. That'd be sort of average. There might be some clubs that are a little bit uh, over that. And typically, just uh, once you become a member, to, to uh, there's green fees. Again, they're very minimal. Five dollars a day to maybe ten dollars absolute top so compared to golf and other sports like that uh it's you know it's a lot cheaper and even to get started your bowls i mean you can get second hand sets of bowls for you know 150 200 dollars a new set might be four to five hundred they'll last your lifetime if they want you to and then your clothing which is again might be another hundred or two hundred dollars so well, a very cheap a sport other sports it's quite yeah very inexpensive sport and uh and if i wanted to have a lesson do you have um private lessons and group lessons or you know yeah you run that? a lot of clubs are different um there's a lot of uh, some private lessons um and some group stuff it just depends on the coaches at the individual clubs. Uh, certainly, they've always got people that are willing to fit in with your schedule. So, if you're a worker or someone that does shift work, there's not only uh, a, a coaching available on weekends, but also during the week. And uh, it just depends. They'll fit in, with, you know, with the individual really. And and uh, usually, you'll go through a minimum of a six-week uh, course, uh, two hours at a time, and then you're right to, to start getting into the competitive environment. So, it's a good place to you know come and do some you know learning with nice people and you know meet some people and have a bit of fun exactly um you know a lot of the most people uh, that i've coached over the years and a lot of people you know they're typically over the you know the last decade say so oh, when i retire i'll take up bowls and you know it doesn't matter the age once they try it for the first time it's one of those sports that really gets you hooked straight away and most people are kicking themselves that they didn't start 10 or 20, 10 years earlier so well, the first thing <laughs> the first thing i think about is that you know, there's there's quite a lot of skill factor. So once once you start playing, there's a bit of a challenge there, and uh, you, you get the skills. That's probably the exciting part of it. Exactly. I mean, we typically refer to it at bowls as chess on grass. So not only do you have to have the hand-eye coordination skills, uh, there's a lot of strategy and and uh, tactics involved. Uh, a lot of using the bowls on the green, a bit like snooker or things like that. So it really does. That's why it's so appealing to so many people. Uh, because a you do have to have uh, you know the right skills and you know a lot of people when they've watched it on TV or just you know on the side of the green they think oh well that looks pretty easy but when they get out there and you got to realise the the weight control the power to put on the bowl and the you know the getting it on the right trajectory to get that grass so it curls back to the jack um, it takes um, quite a few uh, years to, yeah. to to I don't think you ever master it but it does take. Uh, quite a bit of time and practice to hone those skills. So I think that leads us to something. It sounds like I might have to get a degree if I'm going to take up uh, lawn bowls. It is a, a, a good degree. Um, as a as a player or as a coach or as a, an official, you know, what sort of opportunities there are are there to get involved? Um, you know, are there any courses you can do? Yeah, well, there's plenty of uh, courses. I mean, uh, and there's lots of ways to get involved from the voluntary level. Uh, get involved in the big events throughout Australia and even nationally if you want to become a, a national umpire or a, or a coach or be involved in the, the off-green side of it. Um, you can, uh, uh, within a very short space of time, once you've had one or two years' experience in, in, in bowls, you can become a coach from even the basic level uh, to helping the, the, the sort of the the brand newies get started or just the, the barefoot players just have a bit of a taste of the action. Right through, there's, you know, you can progress all the way up the chain to state and uh, eventually a state coach and one day uh, I'll need someone to take my job as the national coach so there is that pathway there for those people so certainly there's lots of ways to get involved in the sport okay and uh, if uh, somebody does want to join or uh, do a course or get involved in somehow uh, in bowls somehow what's the best way to to contact uh, you know obviously on the web or phone you or get Email. Yeah, I mean the easiest way for more information or any other questions is to phone the head office of Bowls Australia and the, the number is uh, 03 9819 2722 or obviously their website which is www.bowlsaustralia.com.au Thanks very much Cameron and it's a nice day to play um, bowls today, you, you're playing this afternoon? I will be, it's a great day and there's not too much wind which makes it a little bit easier again and uh, yeah, I'll be out there for sure. Okay, well, there's probably a beer waiting for you in the, in, in the bar. When I'm finished, I'm sure there will be, yep. Thanks a lot.